Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really lovely name. At least I think it's lovely and lovable and loving and full of love. Love, love, love. Why am I talking so much about love? Because it's Valentine's Day. Yes, Valentine's Day. All right. And of course, I got to do my checklist. So excuse me while I um, uh, torture your ears as I butcher whatever tune I'm going to play with my recorder that I really don't practice on like I should. But that's okay. Here we go. It's time for the checklist. 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 Just like this. Woo, put that away and get to the checklist. All right, boys and girls, did you, did you make it through that? I hope so. So, did you have a good dinner tonight? I did, stomach all full and I'm satisfied. How about you? Let's check it off the list. All right, dinner's all done. Listen, did you do your homework? Happens to be a Sunday today. But if you haven't done your homework, do your homework. Oh, what? Y'all might be coming up on winter break or whatever. It don't matter. Always do your homework. The smarter you are, the farther you go. Check. Oh, let's see. Um, Do your chores. Any particular chores. Wash your dishes. You know, sweep the floor. Fold some clothes. Just pick up around the house. You know, good stuff like that. Check. Um, Let's see. What else? Did you pick out your clothes, your outfit that you're going to wear for tomorrow so that you're prepared in advance? Don't have to think about it in the morning. Check. All right. Did you brush your hair? And if you didn't brush your hair, did you comb your hair? If you didn't comb your hair, did you tie your hair up, wrap your hair up? Are you wearing a nightcap? Got to get the head right. Check. Let's see. Got a nightlight available because you're going to need one of those in case you need to get up in the middle of the night. Check. All right. What else? What else? What else? <sighs> Did you take your bath or your shower yet? Oh, you're fresh and clean and your body all refreshed. Check. What else? Yeah, what about your PJs? You got your favorite PJs on? I do. And pink is appropriate for the day because it's Valentine's Day. Check. Let's see. What else? Did you brush your teeth? Are they shiny and white and glistening and your mouth all refreshed? Check. Mm. Got your cuddle buddies? You only need about two of them. Don't do like me because I got pals of them over here. They over here, but I can only hold what I can hold in my hand. Check. Let's see what else, what else, what else? Did you give your I love yous, your hugs, kisses, and smooches to your family members? And pets that have live at home with you. And possible friends if they're visiting. Check. Oh, let me see. What else? I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I want to make sure I've covered everything. I always feel like I leave something out. Man. And some new things pop up. And then I'll forget to add the new things in. But anyway. We've covered pretty much the basics. Your room uh, hopefully is clean. You know, I did mention chores earlier. But specifically, make sure your room is clean before you go to bed check now of course also before you go to bed or at least go to sleep make sure you say your prayers don't forget to pray before you drift off into dreamland now that's enough seemed like my checklist was a uh, long-winded today so tonight's book is entitled the best thing about valentine's by eleanor hudson and is illustrated by mary c melcher so here we are. And on the back it says, it's for making, sending, and giving cards on Valentine's Day. But what's the very best thing about Valentine's? 
find out in this um, sweet rhyming story. So let's do that. The best thing about Valentine's. The best thing about Valentine's is actually getting one. How about that? Valentine's, Valentine's, big ones and small. Y'all see that? Valentine's, Valentine's. I love making Valentine's. I love it all. Cutting paper and lace. Smearing glue sticks and paste. Okay, so I, I did double up on the pages. This is a rhyming book, so I want to kind of keep the rhyme going. So let me if I can take a page and show you a second page. I already read the words. Yes, indeed. Oh, man, this is cool. I use every scrap. There's nothing to waste. How many of you guys have made Valentine's for your significant others, like family members, pets even? Trying pink ribbons, scattering glitter. Okay. Tying pink ribbons, scattering glitter. Well, they're really doing the artwork in this one. I always clean up and try not to litter. All right, good idea. We don't want to leave a mess behind after making our Valentine. Valentine's, Valentine's, big ones and small. I love sending Valentine's. I love it all. Look at that. Look at that. I drop some in the mailbox right on my street. Good. Who sent out Valentine's? Some others are mailed with a yummy sweet treat. Ooh, fancy. Some Valentines are delivered by hand. Others take longer to cross our big land. Oh yeah, if you if you uh if you sending them that far, it would take a while. As long as the person gets them, though, that's what matters. I bring more Valentines to school for my friends. Yay. That's the part I missed this year. With it being COVID and school being remote learning, you don't get to do that. The fun part. We put them in boxes, and when the class ends... See what happens when the class ends. Our teacher hands Valentine's out one by one. Then we give her a huge Valentine. So much fun. Though it's great to make Valentine's and get them and give them away. I love getting Valentine's on Valentine's Day. See, that's what I thought was the best thing is actually getting Valentine's on Valentine's Day. I'll show you the last page. The best part. Yay. 
All right, and that is the end of tonight's story. Yay. I made a heart with my hands. Yay. Or you can also, excuse me, bears, I gotta, you can also make a heart like this. Did he peek a boo through my heart? Urgh. Anyway, all right, boys and girls, I think I can do it like this too. So you can see it. Anyway, now it's time for you to dream your special dream. So you can dream about love and being loved and showing love and hearts and, and making Valentine's and enjoying all the sweet treats as part of Valentine's Day. All you have to do is close your eyes, whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. Relax your body, get comfy, cozy, snug as a bug in a rug in your bed. No worries, no cares. Be still, be calm, be quiet, be safe. And just allow yourself to drift off into dreamland so that you can dream your special dream. All right, boys and girls, get to it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.